Good afternoon and welcome to the final day of a week on Flat Tummy Tea. I've not filmed anything all day, well, a little bit. I filmed me having my tea this morning and then I filmed my lunch, which was a cheese flatbread and a packet of crisps. Very nice indeed. Uh, did I have breakfast? Don't think I did. That's because I had boo tea. Booty, it's like a bum. And um, yeah, I, I'm basically cooking dinner now. So I'm looking forward to this. Made some homemade chips. They're yet to go in the oven. That's why they look all wet and soggy. But essentially, they went in the microwave for a couple of minutes. Then I sprayed them with a bit of this and they're gonna go in the oven once that light goes off. And also, this is... Shush. Also, this was Grace's choosing. Um, hence why, <laughs> basically, we've had three versions of the same meal so far this week. Firstly with the uh, the roast dinner, the chicken with the gravy and then we had the chicken and leek with the cheese sauce. Both of them very nice and we now have this Hunter's Gammon Steaks. Oh have you joined have you? Yes I have. So this was your, you've basically chosen three of the exact same meals haven't mm -hmm. you? Um, this one appears to be a gammon steak with a bit of cheese and some uh, barbecue sauce. Is it going to be nice? Who knows? I'm very hit and miss with barbecue because I was sick when I was a kid at really Disney don't have World. To put it on. It's in a sachet. That's very true. Also, but... I made you breakfast this morning and brought it to you. Oh, a bowl of cereal. With a, with a cup of tea and oh, yeah. banana. Thank you very much. All sorts. Why are you trying to embarrass me in front of my friends? <laughs> I'm trying to embarrass you. <laughs> but that's true. I didn't film that. But there we go. So, has that light gone off yet? Not quite. But you know what? We're hungry. So, shall we put the. Do you mind putting that in the, in the yeah. oven for me? Live footage. Well, it's not live, is it? Pre-recorded footage of chips going in the oven. So they take about 35 minutes. Actually, how long does this take? Um, 25 minutes. So, um, guys, you're going to have to get ready to cancel this, but Alexa, timer, 25 minutes. 25 minutes. I did it wrong. I should have set it, it for uh, 10 minutes, shouldn't 10 I? Minutes. <laughs> Alexa, cancel timer. 25 minutes, timer cancel. Alexa, timer, 10 minutes. Thank you very much. Can't wait for all the unsubscribes to come flooding in. Right, yeah, gonna give it 10 minutes and then we'll get this in. Oh, the week on is nearly over. I should never sing ever again. Drink a basil. Not impressed. Why are you on the table? Why are we encouraging this? I encourage it and then I slate you for it, don't I? Give me this chin. Give me this chin. Bring it this way. No, he doesn't want it. You mardy ass. I like honestly. I'm looking in this camera now. All it, all it is is a black void. At least look at me so we can see your eyes. You little sod. You know what I want. But you won't give it to me. This is such a one-sided relationship that we have. I love you so much, and you give nothing back. Anyway, let's go sort out dinner. Tum ti tum ti tum ti tum ti tum. Look at the state of this kitchen. Absolute state. Grace, there's Grace's mincemeat from the other day. <laughs> Doesn't that look nice? Uh, tidying. Oh god, yeah, I get. Oh, oh, I didn't mention this. I forgot. Uh, my morning tea. Um, I pulled this little bit off. The bag, as you should be able to do quite easily, per like that, see, and it created a hole, so it ruined my first tea. I am now one tea bag down. Um, I do quite like the material, though, that these. I mean, even though it's clearly quite flimsy, I do quite like the material. It's like a, a wedding veil filled with tea. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that stuff. Interesting. I uh, don't know what I'm talking about. I'm quite happy that I'm not going to have to have. This tea, every this is a tea you'd want every now and then, I feel. Um, I mean, I guess that defeats the object of the tea tox, though, doesn't it? This, however, I get to have today. This one you do have every other day. And I'm going to have this tonight, and we'll see if I have the worst farts in history. Alexa, stop. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's now time to put this in. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, here we go. And it goes. And that'll go in for 20 minutes. I just touched that and burned my hand. Brilliant. Uh, and then 
in this will go and I hope it's not too sickly synthetic barbecue -y. Um I was ill <laughs> at Disney World as a child on bar after eating barbecue ribs so it's kind of like when when you drink booze like you're ill on tequila or something and then you can never touch tequila again also happened to me um, yeah I'm the same with barbecue sauce I'm a weird one well it smells very very barbecuey but we'll see we shall see hardly a work of art but in for another five minutes and also let's get these on let's get the peas on peas and sweet corn in you go marveloso well, it's kind of littered in peas but I don't think it looks too bad I've given Gracie the one with most barbecue sauce on but let's try it a bit of gammon you bloody gammon with barbecue sauce and cheese so sweet and salty but it's actually not too bad it's not too sickly but it's incredibly sweet wow I'll let that I'm gonna go back for more I can't mm. wait to try it. Yeah, I'll try, try, try a bit of my mouth. Oh, wow. Tastes Cheek. like Christmas ham. Cheeky chip. Hmm. I'm gonna enjoy this. Soft on me. Oh, right then. Cheers, guys. Mm. My final cup of tea of this week on. A week on flat tummy tea specifically boo tea I'm, I do like that pun gotta give them credit for that pun but this is interesting interesting tea not really getting the coconut from it just kind of that mentholy Vicks Vapo rubby flavour which isn't unpleasant it's just a bit odd and the one thing that is odd <laughs> is those monster bowel farts that end up happening as a result so will they happen again tonight who knows I'm actually having this one quite well it's later than the rest of it it's currently 20 past 10 uh, so we'll see what happens I, I'm pretty tired so I plan on going to bed basically straight after this um, so hopefully um, yeah I'm not awake to experience the guffs that will ensue, although last time I was pretty lucky, so maybe my body's getting used to it. Who knows? Who knows? But, um, yeah, good day. I mean, my lunch was my lunch. Boring, but, you know, got to be done. Uh, and dinner was actually surprisingly <laughs> lovely. Um, as I said, don't really like barbecue stuff, but I really enjoyed that, so would recommend don't shout me in the comments for having similar food this week. Blame it on Grace. Um, Twitter, at Gracie Jeffs. Give her what for. Tell her, grrr, if you want. Uh, yeah, I mean, the only thing left to do really is get to bed, get up, hop on the scales and see what the damage is. See if I've gained or lost over the course of this week. It's going to be interesting because, yeah, I feel like I've been pretty good as far as food goes this week. Certainly very little snacking, very little sweets. Um, there is some chocolates on that there tree behind me that are screaming out to be eaten, so we'll see what uh, what happens there. Tomorrow, as I'm filming this, is also going to be Friday, so the temptation to have a takeaway is going to be immense. But we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, won't we, Friday evening? Yes, yes we will. It's got to be done. Hmm. Right. So that's about it then. The next thing you're going to see from me is me hopping on the scales. Can't imagine it's going to be below 14, but we can but pray. Right, excuse the cat's litter tray. He's being weird, so we have to have two at the moment because he can't decide between this stuff or this stuff. He is a diva. Right, let's jump on here. We need it as close to 14 as possible. Actually... <laughs> Hey, I'll take that. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, that's close enough. I'll, I'll take that. Well, there we go. That was a week on flat tummy tea. 
And what can I say, it was an interesting week. Not maybe an interesting week from a content perspective. I guess I used to pull my cards on day one and two with like the zoo and the studio tour and stuff. But then again, um, I find I found it really interesting myself because it's kind of, um, yeah, it kind of worked a little bit in that I feel like it maybe gets you into a, a routine with flat tummy tea. So you've got your morning tea and then every other day your evening tea and it kind of sets you up in this mindset in that hmm, yeah I need to remember to eat fairly well today if I'm gonna want to lose weight which somehow yeah I did even though I had you know that amazing sandwich at the studio tour lots of delicious I actually it's been a good day the the, the, uh, the lunch is very samey working during the day um, means, you know, CBA to actually prepare anything, so it's sandwich, noodles, crisps, um, the sort of stuff that a lot of people do eat during the day because, you know, they just simply don't have time to, to make anything that's sort of <laughs> really time consuming, but delicious. Although I'm saying that, sandwich, noodles, crisps, delicious. Um, but it, I, yeah, it's been a weird one. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Would I have been able to lose that weight without the flat tummy tea. Would it have been a thing? Would it have worked? Would I have still lost weight? The answer is probably. Like this is not really something that's designed on its own to to lose weight. It's just not. It's impossible. It's not good. It's not going to thing. It's it's going to maybe reduce bloating. There's a lot of ingredients in these teas that will help reduce bloating, and as a result, it turns out over the course of the week, gives you uh, some of the worst wind of your entire life. Like honestly, cannot begin to describe how bad that smells. And also, one advantage of it is your poo will literally glide out. It will just slip out. Like it's not even been there. No way. You know, during this pandemic, people have been hoarding toilet paper. Wouldn't have mattered if you were on this stuff because you didn't need it. Just whoosh, gone. Out of your system. No longer have to worry about that. The flavour of the tea, I could understand if you don't like it. I wouldn't say I like it. Would I drink it if I wasn't doing this week on? Maybe I'm going to finish the tea. Like it would be a waste if I didn't. But the morning's definitely better than the evening. But that's not a surprise, considering the evening has uh, desiccated coconut in it. And that has no place being anywhere near a cup of tea, unless I'm drinking a cup of tea and a bounty. Because desiccated coconut in, in there is just a bit odd. It's also very, uh, it's also very, what's the word? Vix Vapo Rubby. So if you like drink the thought of drinking that, you know, pick up some... Uh, one of this. By the way, hashtag not spawn. I've got like two logos on the screen at the same time now. Just doing the conclusion, lads. What can I say? But there we go. That was a week on flat tummy tea. D did I enjoy it? Would I do it again? Would I recommend it? I'm on the fence. It certainly hasn't hurt. I feel like uh, it's probably good for like a, any bloating that you may have. So maybe give it a go if that's a thing. If you want to clear a room with farts, then yeah, maybe consider picking it up. Would I recommend it though? I think it's kind of one of those things where you have to suck it and see, really. Like, it, it worked for me for seemingly one week. Would it work long term? Would it work if I did the entire 28 day course? Who knows? Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe you would lose that mindset of that routine, but for one week, it worked for me. It didn't lose a ton of weight, but you don't want to lose a ton of weight per week. A sort of one to two to maybe three pounds is is a lot healthier way of doing it than suddenly, boom, I've lost three stone in four days. But there we go. That was a week on booty. It's not really lost me much to then have to make up before Christmas, has it? I'm going to have to make sure I do something a little bit more extreme next. So if you want to find out what that is, please do like the video, please share. If you want to find out what it is before anyone else, you can support the show on Patreon. All the links are below, or become a, a YouTube member. That's a thing now. That's a thing. Or just subscribe, and you'll see it when it hits the channel. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do, that's fine. And if you want to buy Flat Tummy Tea, I mean, I wouldn't say don't.